Last time, we spent some time in southern New Mexico and visited Carlsbad Caverns National Park and White Sands National Park, as well as a side trip back into Texas to check out Guadalupe Mountains National Park. In this video, we continue our trip westward as we head into southern Arizona for more camping and to explore Chiricahua National Monument and Saguaro National Park in Tucson. Our stop in Chiricahua National Monument was a last minute side trip, so we had no campsite reservations made in the area. So it was time to check out some BLM land and try dispersed camping for the first time. After a little research, we came upon the Indian Bread Rocks dispersed camping site, which was about a 30 mile drive to Chiricahua. We drove down a fairly civil gravel road to get there and found a great open spot right away. Although there were other campers around, we were spaced apart quite a bit and the views from our site were spectacular. Indian Bread Rocks is a mixed use area where cattle roamed freely about and even visited us at our campsite. The sunset and moonrise that night was spectacular and gave us one of the best views of our entire trip. The next day we had an early breakfast and made the hour drive down to Chiricahua, passing more cows lounging on the side of the road. We were glad that we had driven there in just our Jeep and left the trailer behind for the day, since the road we took to Chiricahua was a washboard for almost the whole trip and got a bit tight at times. After our arrival at Chiricahua, we went on a nice hike on the Silver Spur Meadow Trail near the visitor center that Rudy was allowed to go on. There we saw a group of Kawadi, likely females who are known for staying in groups while foraging for food. Rudy was on the prowl for the Kawadi for the entire hike. After the hike, we got back in the Jeep and drove up the mountain on the Bonita Canyon Drive to a picnic area at Massey Point. The weather was great so we took the top down on the Jeep to get better views of the hoodoos and other rock formations along the way. This also enabled the easier picture taking without having to leave the vehicle. We arrived at Massey Point, had a nice picnic lunch, and then walked around a bit. Unfortunately, we were unable to do any more hiking at the point since Rudy was not allowed on the nearby trails, and we had only a few hours to spend at the park, so we couldn't really do our usual Rudy swap. Chiricahua is a national monument, but we do understand that it is on a short list to become the next national park, so when it does, we will likely return and spend more time there to do some more hiking. Our trip back down the Canyon Drive was just as beautiful. We then returned to our campsite, hooked up the hiker trailer, and continued on towards Tucson for our next stop. Next, we stayed for a couple of nights in the Gilbert Ray Campground, which is just outside of Saguaro National Park West. We had another great campsite here and took in a beautiful sunset behind the Saguaro Cacti. Next day, we went into Saguaro National Park, 
which is named after the abundance of saguaro cacti in the region. Saguaro is divided into two sections, east and west, and our visit there was only on the west side. There was a paved nature walk near the visitor center that allowed dogs, so off we went, exploring the Arizona desert landscape on the way. That night we met up once again with our good friends Jane and John, whose Airstream was only a couple of sites away from us. John let us try out his e-bike, which was a lot of fun. We had a great meal with them that night as they made tacos and I made my fresh margaritas. We were so happy to be able to spend more time with them, but this was our last time our schedules overlap on the way out west. The next day we took a loop road in the Jeep and explored more of the desert with Rudy. With our time in Saguaro over, we packed up the next day and headed towards Sedona, where we would spend the next week exploring the red rocks of Sedona as well as the surrounding areas.